Puppet Warp is a very powerful way to directly manipulate your image. You can move people's arms around, you can articulate text, you can bring your image to life in a way you've never been able to before. I think a lot of people wonder what Puppet Warp means to their workflow. Well, it turns out there are some very subtle use cases of Puppet Warp that apply to just about everyone who uses Photoshop. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. In this first one, we have an image that has a bent horizon line. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the layer, come into Puppet Warp, and just drop three pins on the horizon line. What we'll do is we'll pick each corner and just lift that up. We're just nudging the horizon line until it's straight. In this other example, a little more pronounced, we have the doors leaning inward on the image, and it's a little bit beyond what we can counter for in lens correction. And so what we want to do is we want to manually override that and correct for the distortion. Again, we're going to duplicate that layer, come into Puppet Warp here, and the trick here is to drop a pin in each corner to sort of fix the image so that any subtle shifts that we make don't affect the rest of the image. I can stand up those doors, straighten them out, and I can quickly see the image as it should be. So it turns out that Puppet Warp is really powerful for all sorts of use cases, especially subtle, direct manipulations of your image.